We are here at Pack Red with our Belden representative, John Greiger. Hi. He is uh, going to show us some stuff today. It's going to be great. Um, so to start off, John, we we here at Pack Red and other customers of ours are wondering about the uh, new HD base T and what you at Belden uh, make for those types of products and uh, how you can help us in our customer base. Well, thanks, Randall. That's a great question. So. Uh, at, at Belden, we've been behind this HD base T push for some time. Uh, HD base T kind of brings together all the requirements that Belden does very well. The HD base T protocol was written to allow you to run HDMI circuits up to 300 feet. I've brought along with me some samples of those cables so you to take a visual on. The, the, the blue cable and the green cable that I have in my hand are the new Belden 10GXS cable. This white cable that you see next to it is the competitor 6A cable. Uh, both unshielded cables, or all three of these are unshielded cables. And you can see dimensionally how much larger this white cable is than the blue and the green cable, okay? Uh, the, the, the white cable is 25% larger and it weighs 20% more than the blue and the green cable. So the, 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 the cables from Belden, the 10 GXS cables, provide superior performance because of this this equi-block shield that we've got around the outside. This is a patented material developed by Belden made out of mylar. Nice. So it has the same electrical effects of, of a shielding around the cable, but because it's made out of mylar, it's non-conductive, so it doesn't transmit electrical energy along the shield. So it doesn't have to be grounded. Right. So you get all the benefits of a shielded system through an unshielded cable, and that's a unique feature to Belden.